After the presence of succinylcholine was found in Chelsea McClellan's tissue, Janine Jones was charged with murder and injury to a child. As the Kerrville investigation was underway, Bear County had an investigation of its own. Ultimately, Bear County turned over just one indictment for injury to a child in the Rolando Santos case. By the time we tried this case, we were well aware of the attention it was receiving and did not have any idea of the implications of it, but we knew that it was being watched nationwide. I remember reading about Janine Jones when I would come home from college. I began to, you know, follow that as a student journalist and it was the talk of my parents' home whenever I would come home. We tried this case in Georgetown. We were in the small courtroom. It was packed every day. This was so troubling because the victim was a 15-month-old child, and, and that just made it extremely painful, if you will, personally, uh, from a personal standpoint, difficult trial to cover. Ron was able to convince a judge to let us talk about all of those other incidents so we weren't having to deal with one incident involving Chelsea McClellan. We were able to show a pattern of behavior with several different children. It was January, a four-week trial it began mid-January and didn't wrap up until mid-February, so it was in the, the heart of winter, and it was really a, from a, a miserable trial to cover. Now having children and grandchildren of my own, to see that behavior of a person who was a parent herself, I can't imagine. I can't imagine that it would not have ripped her guts out for this to have happened to these children. I did not see that. I did not see that. Now, I don't know what I was expecting to see, but whatever it was, I didn't see it in her. The testimony of Chelsea McClellan's mother, Patty McClellan, it was just gut-wrenching. Petty McClellan takes the stand and basically describes the day of uh, what had happened earlier that day. She had to tell how she had taken her daughter to the clinic in Kerrville, Dr. Uh, Kathleen Holland, Holland's clinic, for just a routine checkup. Why were they going to the doctor? There wasn't anything wrong with Chelsea, as I recall. It was a routine checkup. She brought her in there. She was given two, what she was told were routine shots by, by Janine Jones, Dr. Dr. Holland's nurse. She had been a premature baby, but you know, so she was being monitored a little more closely. Uh, and then all, literally for them, all hell broke loose. And within just seconds after that, and this is according to the testimony of, of uh, Petty McClellan, and like I say, I, I, I can almost hear it to this day. Petty is walking through this step at a time, and then of course as we get to the respiratory arrest, the trip to the hospital, the ambulance ride, it becomes more and more intense. She said she suddenly went limp, in her words, like a rag doll. She said it was, she just went limp, and she said she looked up, her daughter looked up to her and looked right her in, in the eyes and was whimpering and was trying to say, Mama, but couldn't get it out. Petty is uh, having more and more difficulty telling us about the situation. She's very, very emotional, very choked up, a lot of difficulty in talking. You can tell that she's one step away from being sick. Uh, she's crying. She's sobbing profusely. If you looked around the courtroom, there was not a dry eye in that courtroom. Everyone was crying. All of the jurors were crying. The judge was crying. The audience was crying. Everyone was crying, except Janine Jones. And that the jury in a four-week trial, you would expect some uh, lengthy deliberations. The jury deliberated just a little bit north of, of three hours before they found her guilty. And uh, 
uh, about the same amount of time before they sentenced her to 99 years in prison. A lot of people ask, well, why didn't she get the death penalty for killing this child, Chelsea? Um, and the problem was is that it was not a capital crime to kill a baby until 1993. Ronnie Sutton was the prosecutor out there in Kerrville. He said that the jury at the time said that if they could have given her the death penalty, they would have. They just couldn't. Jones was convicted in October that, that year of 1984. Uh, a jury here in Bear County uh, convicted uh, Jones of injury to a child in the uh, Santos case, and she was uh, given an, an additional 60 years in prison. By this time, we were then aware of some of the history in Bear County and some of the things that might have taken place there and realized that we were the last stop in a very long train ride and that there is no telling what damage uh, Jane Jones had caused. 